Welcome back to the channel for LearnGameWriting.com. Today we're going to be talking about what tools you'll be using as a game writer. Depending on the studio that you're working for, you'll be using some mixture of all of the things that I talk about in this video. First, I think it's fair to say you're going to need some sort of computer, whether that's a laptop or a desktop or your phone. You're going to need something that you're writing in and submitting to the rest of the team. You're probably going to be using a, a cocktail of software as a game writer, so we'll start at the top. A word processor. So if this is Google Docs or Microsoft Word or Scrivener, you'll be using some sort of word processor to write your text. If you're not strictly using a word processor, you may in fact use what we call a dialog editor. Now a dialogue editor uh, can come in all shapes and sizes. It can be a plugin for game engines like Unity and Unreal, or it can be a proprietary in-house software system that is developed strictly for your use. Uh, but basically what this is going to allow you to do is type dialogue into the game engine and hopefully quickly see it in game. Dialogue editors can be straight linear tools for writing plots that we've talked about in other videos that are that are linear or they can have the ability to allow for branching dialogue but that will be an entirely separate video many studios actually use spreadsheets for game writers and this may break your brain a little bit because spreadsheets are for numbers and data analysis they're also really good at keeping things in order and if you're not familiar with spreadsheets look up google sheets or excel you may also use a slide presentation software such as PowerPoint or Google Slides. This is a great way to visually accent what you're trying to get across to the rest of the team, whether it's in pitches or storyboards. An incredibly powerful tool that has really come into fruition over the past few years is the online whiteboard tool. This is a place where you and other writers or artists or anyone working on the creative vision of the game can brainstorm or mind map all in a collective place and it stays there, it doesn't disappear. I've been in writer's rooms where you write stuff up on whiteboards and then you have to erase it because the room is shared with other people who need the whiteboard. I've used Miro personally and I've had a lot of success with it. You can search for a whiteboarding tool online. When it comes to task tracking or project management, you may in fact need to interface with a software suite but it could be as simple as like a post-it note with a to-do list on it, right? Something that keeps you organized and says, this is what you're working on and this is what you need to uh, do next and when is it delivered by? So uh, maybe a post-it note works for you on an individual, on an uh, independent project, but if you're working with a larger team, you're probably going to deal with something like Jira, say, that has a robust, um, ability to track many different tasks for many different people. You may also need to be familiar with an online knowledge base or wiki. This is a place where all of your team can put information that they've agreed upon into the game. It becomes a single source of truth for what is in the game and what isn't in the game. I'll make a later video on uh, the story bible and often this is in that online wiki. And lastly, what writer would be complete without simple pen and paper? This is what you use to scratch out ideas, write down dreams, just crazy thoughts that may in fact turn into something down the road that really works. There are a few other tools you might want to be familiar with. Uh, you may not use them on a day-to-day -day basis, but they are pretty helpful. A piece of software like Photoshop will easily allow you to uh, visually communicate what kind of mood or tone you're going for in a scene. Again, you can use uh, images that you find online, splash them together in a page, a collage that really creates like a mood board. A lot of times tools like this help more than just writing a page of, uh, of text that uh, a lot of people won't read. Some sort of sound recording software is also useful. Uh, you may want to, in fact, record some scratch audio just to give other team members an idea of what you're going for with this particular character, the cadence of the way they speak or their dialect. You may also want to have some sort of familiarization with localization software if your project is going to be localized into many languages. So today we covered what tools you'll be using as a game writer in some capacity. We've got word processors, spreadsheets, 
slide presentations, dialogue editors, online whiteboards for collaboration, task tracking, online knowledge bases or wikis, and then some optional tools that might make your life easier, like Photoshop or uh, a sound recording, and then localization software. As always, if you're enjoying this content, please hit the like and subscribe below. This gets it out to more people so that we can build our community. Uh, go ahead and hit that bell notification so you know when the next video drops. And if you're into game writing but you don't know where to start, download the free PDF at the link below and get started today. I'm Drew McGee for LearnGameWriting.com and I will see you in the next video.